I had the um, I had the I had the honor of standing here on Sunday night and uh, speaking at the first simcha to take place in this room. And I said how special it was that we all had an opportunity to sort of dedicate this room for the first simcha, hopefully of many. But now I have the opportunity to say it's the first pidyon of Ben. <laughs> the first pidyon of Ben that's very special. There's only one first. And I don't usually argue with the Baal Simcha, so I'm not going to get into it with him. But his numbers don't sound right to me. I've been doing this for 10 years, actually maybe a little longer, if you want to count my years as, as an assistant rabbi, and I'm even thinking the years beforehand, I've been around for more than 12 years anyway. I can count maybe on less than two hands how many times I've been to a Pidyon Ben. Baruch Hashem, I've seen many births. Did you say 10%? No. Nah. I, you got to go back. 10% of boys, firstborn boys maybe. I don't know. We have, it's an interesting question, but it's rare. And so therefore, when we have an opportunity to come together for a pity on a band, it's special. However, however often it is, I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you the beautiful, beautiful words of the Sefer Achinuch uh, when describing this particular mitzvah that uh, we were just able to uh, experience, to watch, and to be a part of. And Sefer Achinuch writes words that I think speak to each and every one of us, they should, regardless of where we are in life, regardless of whether or not we've had, or please God, we'll have the opportunity to perform this mitzvah personally, it's a lesson which is relevant to all. Mishor Sheha Mitzvah, says the Sefer Achinuch, employing the expression that is often used when introducing a thought related to the philosophy, to the idea, the hashkaf idea behind the mitzvah, Sheratza Hashem Lezak Hoseinu, Lasos Mitzvah Bereshis Piryenu, that Hashem wanted to give us an opportunity to do a mitzvah when we have an opportunity to hold the first of our fruit. Leman das, get ready for this, because it's not what you expected, or maybe it is. Ki hakol shilo. The purpose of this is to remind us that everything is His. Everything is His, His with a capital H. The ain lo adam davar ba'olam, rak mashiach lak lo Hashem b'chasadov. And we have nothing in this world, nothing at all, if not for the fact that Kadosh Baruch Hu bestows us and endows us with certain gifts which are expression of nothing else other than His boundless kindness. And a person should come to this realization. There's a lot that brought the two of you to this day. Many, many Yagios, as he described, before you got married, after you got married, years and years of toil. And you involved in many, many efforts. Vigil is mancha asapri. And finally, you've come to this point in your life where you could celebrate, look, what we have. The chav of a love, gracious, pure, kavavaz eno. And human nature is that my first is as precious to me as the pupil of my eye. Meaning that this is the most precious thing I have. Miyad and immediately, no stala kadosh baruch hu. Immediately, as a word, I give it to God. It's as if I'm saying, I recognize specifically at such a time that it's yours. And that everything that I have, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is a gift from you. It's such a humbling thought, and it's such a beautiful reminder that which we should realize every morning when we wake up, whenever we have the good fortune of leaving the bathroom, whenever we have the opportunity to sit down and have food before us, every time we experience anything in this world, in which we derive benefit, we should recognize that our kol shalom. But you know, it's hard. But when it comes to an opportunity like this, and literally when you see the child on the plate, it's beautiful, and everybody's putting the silver on, and it's nice to see. When you take a step back for a moment, and you look at that, it's such an incredible, awesome sight. I'm holding my child, and as it were, I'm making a decision, my boy is fate. But I recognize that it's, it's not mine. Nothing is magi ali without the, without the direct... Uh, influence and without the the unceasing giving and chesed of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Uh, our Balei Simcha are people who don't take life for granted at all. They understand and appreciate that all the brachos in their life are brachos from a Kaddish Baruch Hu, but we want to thank them for giving us the opportunity to sort of look in and to celebrate with them at such a time and to appreciate uh, all of the blessings that we all have in life. And I just want to add one P.S. to this thought, and that is, it's a little bit of a silly question. You know, which, my bias today, for those in Encatcher, means which do you want more? Do you want the kid or do you want the money? That's basically, you know, the question 
uh, that was posed to the Baal Simcha. You know, you have a choice. You know, basically, uh, you can give me the kid, or if you want, you can pay me off. So, of course, I have yet to go to a pidgin event in which somebody <laughs> said, you know, uh, you can take the kid. It may have happened, you know. If they do a pidgin event when the kid's 18, I imagine most parents would say, you know, <laughs> you know I'll keep the money, thanks. But uh, at this point, uh, of course, it's a no-brainer. It's a silly question, my boy is today, but the truth of the matter is, our bracha to you is that it should always be as clear to you in the future with all of the nesionas that, please God, you'll have in life, because life is full of nesionas. You know, a life full of nesionas, without nesionas, not a life. You're going to have nesionas. Hopefully they should all be manageable. They shouldn't be anything too difficult. But with all of the challenges, and hopefully they'll all be good challenges, with all the challenges that you have in life, please God, with with your son and as a child, and as your family expands, please God, in the future, it should always be as clear to you at every moment as it is right now that it's not a shayla. The most important thing to me is my child. The most important thing to us is that we raise him in accordance with the ways and with the lifestyle of Torah and all the money in the world, not just five uh, silver coins, but 500, five million, all the money in the world, it's, it's not even a shayla. This is the most important thing in this world. This is why we're alive. This is what we're here for, and it should always be as clear to you. It should always be a no-brainer, as they say, as it was tonight, in every situation that you face in the future. As was Hashem, you should have much nachas, and we should be zochet to celebrate many, many simchas in the future. And I really feel a little bad that I argued with about simchat at his party, so I will be happy to stand up publicly and apologize. No, 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 no let me correct. You're absolutely correct. Oh, really? <laughs> Am I real? I, I meant first birth. Yeah, oh, good, okay, good. I don't feel so bad anymore. <laughs> All the more reason we're so fortunate to be able to, uh, to celebrate this very, very rare moment with you. And uh, please God, many, many more in the future. Mazel tov.